tithing. You will pay 10% of your income to the Mormon Church. Alcohol, coffee, and tea. You will not be able to enjoy a glass of wine with dinner. Neither will you be able to have a cup of coffee for breakfast. Also, teas such as green, black, and white are not allowed. Magical underwear. You will be required to wear strange magical underwear with special symbols, which goes down to your knees and has sleeves. Shopping. No shopping on Sunday because it is the Sabbath day. Missions. All 19-year-old men are commanded to serve a two-year mission and delay college. Parents are expected to pay for it. Temples. You will be required to participate in strange Masonic temple rituals. Suicide. Utah has high rates of youth suicide. Large families. You will feel pressure to have a large family. Rock music is discouraged. Women, you will feel pressure to be a stay-at-home mother and housewife. Missionary work, you will be encouraged to share the gospel with everyone you know. Bankruptcy, Mormons have much higher than average personal bankruptcy rates. Perfectionism, you will feel pressure to strive for perfection. This is a sure recipe for guilt, shame, and feelings of not being good enough. Boredom. You will feel immense boredom at church and other meetings as you hear the same information week after week, year after year. You will likely stop paying attention. Depression. Prozac use is much higher in Utah than the national average. Sexism. All of the top leaders of the Mormon church are men. Racism. The Book of Mormon, a Mormon scripture, is a racist book. Intellectual freedom is severely limited. See Wikipedia, the September 6 article. Mormon apologists from groups like Farms, Fair, and the Neil A. Maxwell Institute do not tell the truth. Rated R movies are not allowed. Swearing is not allowed. Marriage. Mormons are commanded to marry in the faith. Huge time commitment. You will spend at least three hours every Sunday attending church. Reading. You will have to read the Book of Mormon one half hour every day. Baptizing the dead. You will need to help baptize by proxy billions of people who are dead. Gentiles. You will learn to view non-Mormons with suspicion. The us versus them complex. Drug addiction. Utah has high levels of drug addiction. Caffeine. More Orthodox Mormons avoid all caffeine, including Coke and Pepsi. Polygamy is still practiced in the Mormon temple. Self-awareness groups are discouraged. Eternal families. You will live with your spouse and spouses, parents, children, and other family members for eternity. Is this good or bad? Financials. The Mormon Church is a multi-billion dollar, non-transparent corporation. Kids. You will feel pressure to start having kids soon after marriage. Rap music is discouraged. Bearing your testimony. Kids are encouraged to bear their testimony of truth claims before they can even read or write. Gambling and lotteries are opposed by the church. Have fun in Vegas without gambling. Hypnosis. Hypnosis is discouraged for entertainment purposes. Smoking cigarettes is a violation of God's commandments. You won't even be able to smoke a cigar at a special occasion. Saved by works. We know that it is by grace that we are saved after all we can do. 2 Nephi 25-23 from the Book of Mormon, a Mormon scripture. This promotes feelings that you will never be good enough. The Republican Party. Most Mormons belong to the Republican Party. Tattoos are discouraged. No piercings for men and boys. Earrings and other body piercings are not acceptable. No piercings for women and girls. Excessive ear piercing, more than one per ear, and all other body piercings are not acceptable. Marriage ceremonies. Non-members are not allowed to attend marriages in the temple, 
even if it is your own son or daughter. Leader Worship The Prophet and the Twelve Apostles are nearly worshipped. Apostates Those who leave the church are often shunned and considered evil. Evolution You will be encouraged to give up your belief in evolution. Cremation Human cremation is discouraged. Euthanasia Euthanasia is against God's commandments. Marijuana Smoking pot is a violation of God's commandments. Clean cut for women and girls, encouraged. Hairstyles should be clean and neat, avoiding extremes in styles or colors. Clean cut for men and boys, encouraged. Hairstyles should be clean and neat, avoiding extreme styles or colors, and trimmed above the collar, leaving the ear uncovered. Sideburns should not extend below the earlobe or onto the cheek. If worn, mustaches should be neatly trimmed and may not extend beyond or below the corners of the mouth. Men are expected to be clean-shaven. Beards are not acceptable at BYU or on missions. Huge time commitment. You will probably be called to a position with heavy time commitments. This can range from a few hours a week to 25 hours or more per week for a bishop or stake president. Heavy callings can last for five to ten years. Since the Mormon Church has a lay ministry, such men also hold full-time jobs. These men are hypocrites since they are also supposed to be family men. Mormon leaders lie. Mormon leaders rarely speak about controversial topics and lie outright about others. Such topics include Joseph Smith's wives, blacks and the priesthood, translation process of the Book of Mormon, Adam God theory, blood atonement, and translation of the facsimiles in the Book of Abraham. Teaching manuals are propaganda. A lot of Mormon history is not even mentioned, while other topics provide very misleading information. Such topics include Joseph Smith's wives, blacks and the priesthood, translation process of the Book of Mormon, Adam God theory, blood atonement, and translation of the facsimiles in the Book of Abraham. Green Jello. You will be required to eat green jello on a consistent basis. Ha ha ha. One thing I realized from making this video is that the Mormon Church is now run primarily through policy making, not revelation. Policies are easily changed when needed. How many revelations or commandments have we received from President Thomas S. Monson, who was sustained as a prophet, seer, and revelator? Answer We are hard pressed to find any at all. The church is run like a corporation in these latter days.